everybody, I'm Charlie Jellin along with Bob West for the Port Arthur News Friday Night Experience, the 18th year of Friday Night Experience. It's good to have everybody here at Jerry Mallory Field, Bulldog Stadium, as the Needland Bulldogs host the Crosby Cougars. And Bob, week zero, you couldn't ask for a better game. You know, Charlie, used to be teams eased into the district play with a breather. This is not a breather. Nederland has a real challenge tonight with Crosby. There's something about putting 19-4A and 24-A together. You end up with a great game because the, the teams kind of complement each other. Nederland's defense against Crosby's offense. Right, and it's going to be fun to see how that matchup works out. A lot of speed for Crosby. I think that's why Larry Newman was smart to scrimmage West Orange, Stark, and Dayton and get his players accustomed to the kind of speed they're going to see out of Crosby tonight. Needland had a few nagging injuries uh, from not only the two-a-days, but also from those scrimmages. We're hoping those players can make it back on the field here. Well, it, it seems like injuries are always an issue for the yeah. Bulldogs. Usually it's the quarterback. Thankfully, that's not the case thus far. Charlie, I think one thing Needland's going to have to do, we talk about their defense against Crosby's offense. Needland's offense is going to have to hold the ball some. They can't leave their defense out there all night against that, that explosive in offense. We're glad to have you with us here at Jerry Mallory Field. We'll be coming back with a kickoff in just a minute, the 18th year of the Port Arthur News Friday Night Experience. Stay with us. Welcome back to Bulldog Stadium for the 2012 edition of the Friday Night Experience sponsored by the Port Arthur News. Looks like Crosby has won the toss here. And so many teams do that now. They defer it to the second half, Bob. If I had their offense, I think I'd want to get it on the field, <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> We're so glad to be back on Fox 4, produced by Sheffield Productions, Port Arthur News, and the Friday Night Experience. There's a whole bunch of sponsors helping to bring this to you this season. BASF FINA Petrochemicals, Lamar University in Beaumont, the Medical Center of Southeast Texas, Lamar State College in Port Arthur, Community Bank of Texas, they're the new guys. Market Basket, Motiva Enterprises, Five Point Community Federal Credit Union, and Mike Fulgence at United Coin and Bullion. Sure was inspiring too to see those two groups of uh, athletes lined up on their end zone. We had a beautiful sunset as the flag was raised. The flag's still at half mast right now in memory of Neil Armstrong. Uh, according to presidential order, it'll be raised to full staff after sunset, which will happen in just a few minutes, and kind of puts a tingle in your neck, and it's not just that air conditioner behind us. You're right, Charlie. Of course, there's always a tingle on the first night of football season. It's just there's only one first night each year, and uh, we're fortunate to be a part of what I think is going to be a heck of a football game in a terrific 2012 season. Uh, we're so proud of the Port Arthur News to have been able to be part of this for 18 years now. This is wow. the 18th consecutive year, and this all got started because of Jim Barton and Mike Sheffield. They were kind of the co-geniuses behind this. We, we've evolved and, you know, had all kind of things to, to deal with, but I think we're back bigger and stronger than ever and looking to a great season opener. Chase Nix for the Crosby Cougars kicks it off to the Bulldogs. It's a short kick taken in the air by Tyler Spell. Number 22 gets it out to about the 26-yard line. And the Bulldogs will put it in there, in play there, first and 10, first offensive possession of the year. Charlie, I think it's it's really going to be important for Nederland tonight to move the ball some, to keep the ball some. Their defense is going to be dealing with a very explosive offense capable of making big plays. And the fewer opportunities you give them to do that, the better chance you're going to have to win the game. Now, we're not going to see the Nederland offense totally the way Larry Newman wants it to be because there have been so many injuries in the offensive line. Most of the players are there, but they haven't practiced together a lot. Coming out in an eye-left twins formation, Carson Reigns, the quarterback, rolls out on the bootleg. He's got a guy open, throws it short to Marcus Barton. Number three gets across to the 33-yard line, taken out of bounds. There's a flag on the play, though, on the far side. Ray on the far side. <laughs> yeah, Reigns did a great job of being patient, going to what was probably his third receiver on the play. What Larry Newman wants to do tonight, uh, Charlie, he, he wants to run the ball some, but he feels like because of the things that have happened with his offensive line and the lack of practice time this year, 
he's going to have to set up the run with the pass, which is just the opposite of what you usually hear uh, in football. You, you, you run to set up the pass. They're going to pass to set up the run. Offside penalty against Crosby is declined. They'll take the seven yards on first down. Offset eye formation. Handoff goes to number 24, Kendrick Hopkins. He plows across the 35, gets close to the first down. Depends on where the ball is spotted. Going to get another look at it. Of course, Kendrick Hopkins had a fairly memorable role in this game last year, Charlie, when we did the the West Orange Stark Neerland opener over at Cardinal Stadium that went to the wire. Well, that was a great game for us to kick off week zero. Of course, being here in Bulldog Stadium is not, not bad either. West Orange Stark, we're going to catch them next week, aren't we, down at PNG? At PNG, and that should be a good one. We, we've got a great early lineup. Rain's getting the signals. And off again to Hopkins. Bulldog down after a three-yard gain. I shouldn't say that. Bulldog no, down by the not, Panthers. Can't do that. Uh, Cougar down. It's, er, it's early, Charlie. It's pre <laughs> preseason for the announcing team. Well, yeah. I mean, we we, we didn't, didn't get a practice game. No, yelling at, yelling at the Astros in baseball is just not quite the same. Second down and seven. He's going to the I formation, staying in the I formation through this series. Here's that quick out. Caught by Michael Shaw. Shaw cuts back. A little water bug motion there. Well, we Good get, for 20 yards, first if, down. If we get a look at this, the cushion they gave him, well, they gave him a 10-yard cushion. I mean, this was a fairly routine play for Reigns. I mean, he just drops back and uh, chunks it to a wide-open receiver. I mean, there is nobody close to him. Now, maybe there should, was supposed to have been underneath help there, but the safety really backpedaled. If you look at the Cougar defense, they only have three down linemen on the line of scrimmage. The other eight are linebackers, and in the secondary, they're really fearing the, the needle and passing game right now. Trap play up the middle to the fullback, Marcus Barton. Barton gets four yards. It'll be second down. We've only seen a handful of plays, but this is the way that I think Larry Newman would have scripted it. Make first downs, move the chain, have some success throwing the ball, then come back off the play action sometimes to, you know, to run. That interior trap sure makes those defensive linemen stay at home. They can't go running out on the sweeps or coming into the quarterback. From the shotgun, quick throw over to Marcus Barton. Good move. It's going to be close to a first down at the Cougar, 32. Nice. I'm sorry, I had the wrong number. That's number nine, Colton Kimler, with that ball. Kimler made a nice move after the catch. Got it right down to third and a foot. You would think they'll go under center and run the ball here to try to get this first down, maybe even sneak it. Uh, you don't mess around with this. You get that first down and keep your drive going. And that's exactly Quarterback what Quarterback sneak. Uh, looked like some motion there, but uh, – It sure did. I don't know if the defense moved or the offense moved or whatever, but first down is as Carson Reigns gets it on the sneak, gets it to the 30. Needland continues the opening drive of week zero. Offensive left hash. Range drops back into the spread. Hopkins to his left. He fakes the handoff to Hopkins, keeps it himself around the left side. Dives for two. And uh, having Carson Reigns run the ball some was one of the things that Larry Newman said was part of the plan going into tonight to kind of supplement the running game uh, with Reigns a little bit. Picked up a couple, maybe three. Reigns with the snap, slight roll to the right, plenty of time. Good throw, great catch there by Brandon Self, number 16. Gets the first down to the 14-yard line. A lot of zip on that throw from Carson Reigns. Good hands from Spell. 
Okay, we're going to look at it again. Reigns is going to roll right. It's pretty well locked in on spell, it looks like. There it comes. Got there in a hurry. The defender was in pretty good shape. But uh, so much zip on a ball from Reigns that the defender couldn't do anything about it. Hopkins stayed in to help block that time. Made sure Reigns had plenty of time. Under center. Problem with the handoff, but here comes Hopkins. Tackled by the linebacker inside the five. He carried him forward for a first down. It's going to be first and goal for the Bulldogs. And watch the move. If we see it again, watch the move Hopkins makes at around the 10-yard line. Okay, got it. Pulling guards right there. Got him an extra five and a first and goal for the Bulldogs. They're trying to open the season, open the 2012 season with a touchdown drive on their first possession. Under center. Reigns hands it off. Touchdown. Oh, close. Oh, I thought he had it. Marcus Barton was diving for it. The third line got him. Tackled by Kyle Williams, the junior safety, coming in to fill the hole. A lot of authority there from Williams. He came up and, uh, and saved a touchdown for at least one play. Yeah, ignored the announcer. He does not know what he's doing. <laughs> oh, but look at that. Whoa, it, look he, at that hit. That's uh, that's the way you draw it up right there. Williams, a junior safety. He's on the Texas football watch list for the Cougars. Spread formation, Reigns, touchdown. He gets it untouched, scoring from two yards out. Wow, how that's, uh, that almost looked too easy, Charlie. A lot of great execution there. No penalties, uh, no bus, just a business-like 10-play, 65-yard touchdown drive that took uh, a little over five and a half minutes off the clock. Corbin Stampley was lined up at fullback there to help get the quarterback in untouched. Now the point after attempt. Up in the air from Tanner Noel. It's good, seven to nothing. Needling on top, 726 left in the first quarter. We'll be back in just a minute with the Cougars first offensive series. Okay, now they're going to keep, just keep the tape running. It's just we stop, and if we want to talk to each other, we push the buttons now. Okay. I didn't know if Dave was going to be here. I told him I'd, you know, I'd, I'd work the buttons. That was, hey, there's but, nothing wrong with that. That's impressive there. But that, you're right, that cushion they're giving them yeah. on both sides, 10-yard yeah. cushion. That'll change. They'll adjust. <laughs> they, can't, they can't stay that way. They may not have a better drive than that all year. That's true. I mean, it's you ready? Okay. Welcome back. The Crosby Cougars gave up an opening touchdown to the Bulldogs, but that's just the first coin thrown on this poker table. There's going to be a lot of chips thrown down by yep. the offenses in this game. I guarantee you seven points won't win it. <laughs> it's going to take a lot more than that. We're about to see the twins for the Cougars, the Walter brothers. Ashton and Austin. Austin's the running back. Ashton's the quarterback. This one's taken deep by Ashton Walter. And these brothers are really special, Charlie. They, they're coming off great years. Austin Walter, the running back, 1,360 yards, 16 rushing touchdowns, two receiving touchdowns last year. Ashton Walter, the quarter, quarterback, 1,500 passing yards, 800 rushing yards, 14 TDs. So the Walter brothers accounted for 30 touchdowns last wow. year. Wow. And they're just juniors. Yeah, they're, it's phenomenal what they're able to do over at Crosby. And they, I talked to the Needland scouts. They like to just spread out the, the formation just to get one-on-one. -on -one. Got a little hit screen there off the hands of number 17, Justin Walter, the senior brother, I believe, of the trio. Two junior twins, and then Justin Walter, the senior wide receiver. And they won't give you a lot of time between plays. You've got to have your defense set and ready. They were try to run a play as quickly as they can. 
Handoff goes to the tailback. Justin Walter tackled by Deshaun Washington, a junior for the Bulldogs that's starting on both offense and defense. There's a flag a, on the play here. And I think uh, Crosby was probably in motion, Charlie. Uh, I think we're going to call the name Deshaun Washington a lot this year. I've heard so many good things about this young man. A fine young man, a, a scholar, a good student. Just a nice all-around guy who's gotten bigger every year. <laughs> He's listed in the program at 6'3", 275. Wow. And that's a fast 275. So second and 15 for Crosby. They are spread out all over the place. Uh, Going to be a test for the, the back people in Nederland's defense, especially if you don't get pressure on a quarterback. Fakes the hand. Well, handoff does go to Austin Walter, number 27, going around the right side, away from the three ride receivers. Gains about two yards after the penalty, so it's going to be second down and about 13 yards. Watch Nederland's defense flow to the ball here. Colton Kimler and Stampley. Uh, Stampley doing a good job running to the ball. But like you say, they're quick to the line. Drops back to pass, does Ashton. He's looking deep. Ball's tipped away by Zach Taylor. Zach Taylor, terrific coverage from Taylor. Even if the ball's caught, it's not going to be a first down. Uh, terrific pressure defense there from a, from a cornerback. I think a lot really high expectations for this Nederland defense, Charlie. A, a, Seven of these kids played a lot last year. Some of them are playing for the third year. Some real talent uh, on the Bulldog defense. Cougars in a tight punt formation on a fourth down and 13. It's a running start. And he kicked Get away the from he, it. He kicked the front of the it. ball. It lands out of bounds. Never hit inbounds. Landed yeah. out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. Well, a great, uh, great opportunity here for Nederland to get control of this game early. 6-18 left in the first quarter. It's going to be first down and 10 for the Bulldogs, and they have marked it at the 27-yard line of the Cougars. So, Nederland's second offensive possession. You can't get much better than this. The Dallas Cowboys would love to have this on their first two possessions next week. Terrific field position, 27-yard line. To see if they can take up where they left off, see what kind of adjustments Crosby made. We talked about they're going to have to come up tighter on the receivers, and they are. Reigns under four under the center this time. Hand off to Hopkins. Bounces it outside. He's got some speed. 15-yard line with a flag at the end. It's a first down, a 12-yard gain for Hopkins. I think it's going to be a holding penalty, though, at the end of the play. Not going to wipe out all the gain uh, because I think it's right down near where the tackle was made, I believe. Let's see. Watch uh, watch Hopkins bounce off a tackler. Didn't, and the holding is so it, it's still it's going to wind up being now first and about oh, eight. Uh, it's a shame to lose a first down gain like that. They were going to be looking at first down at about the 15-yard line. Here's a good ground-level shot from the Sheffield production cameras. Again, they have two down on the field, and, and the twin sisters, two brand-new HD cameras up top giving you these shots here. Twin sisters, Boy, that's, that's look, a Texas yeah, history thing okay. there. We're having fun with that. High formation for the Bulldogs. Range drops back, looks to his left. It's a shake route. Seth Barrow. Oh, Barrow what falls out nice of bounds catch inside the Barrow. one. <laughs> what a nice catch. Uh, and a great call from upstairs. A little hitch and go. And the cornerback bit came up. And uh, all of a sudden, it was, oops, my man just went past me. Watch it here. Watch the watch the fake on the out route. Right there, the pump fake. Receiver turns. And there's actually Why wasn't to me like that a touchdown. A touchdown. Why Where, wasn't wow. that a touchdown? I, I don't even think that was that close. Shame we can't use replay in the UIL. Quarterback sneak. 
High formation, Reigns fighting to get in, and the refs say he did. Second touchdown for Reigns. So three plays, 29 yards, a second touchdown for Nederland. Five, so 534 left in the first quarter, and you just couldn't ask for a better start. I mean, what can you say about the Bulldogs so far? I mean, they're definitely showing an offense that I wasn't expecting. The defensive stop on the Cougars on the first possession. Okay, the Cougars are right. young. They got a few jitters. Noel's kick is good. 14 to nothing, Needleland over Crosby. 529 left in the first quarter. We'll be back in just a minute with more action from Bulldog Stadium. J.K. Chevrolet Subaru, your hometown dealer. It's beautiful Rouse colors up there. It really is. Bulldog. Go dog. I got the, I got my hands on the buttons, guys. Nature's Federal Credit Union wishes the Leland Bulldogs best of luck this season. Score points all year long with the Nature's Federal Credit Union debit card. Okay, I'm about to release the button. Reward buttons. points featuring tuition reward. Can y'all give me a Is shot it? of the uh, scoreboard after the kickoff? Because I've got some sponsors to talk about. Just let it linger while I finish the six sponsors. Okay, five, four, three. Yeah, but I'm going to start talking now. Here we go. 14 to nothing, Tanner Noel ready to kick off again. The junior might be getting a pretty good workout today the way the Bulldogs are going. Great kick, look how deep that is. It's the second one in a row he's delivered deep into the end zone. And as a coach, you love that. No chance for, not only no chance for a run back, but no chance to get anybody hurt. And the, probably the most high risk play in football on any level is covering kickoffs. We'd like to thank the uh, sponsors, Needle and ISD. So you can see them there on the scoreboard, Five Point Credit Union, J.K. Chevrolet, Gulf Credit Union, Natchez Federal Credit Union, Christus Hospital, St. Elizabeth and St. Mary, and the William Dornboss family. Our thanks to you. First down and 10 for the Cougars. Hand off up the middle, and there goes Austin Walter, number 27, find some room. And Charlie, for those viewers who are saying, wait a minute, the ball's on the 25-yard line. It was a touchdown. It was a touchback on the kickoff. There is a new rule in high school and college football this year. Kicks into the end zone, touchbacks, the ball comes out to the 25, whereas forever it's come out to the 20. Another kind of a safety rule. You need to get David Coleman to write a, an article about that because I'm dumb. I honestly didn't know that, sir. <laughs> You know, I think, Charlie, if you'd have looked really close, I may show you a story on that before what? or by halftime tonight. Was it, was it in the I Port Arthur we, News I football? I think we had a story in our Port Arthur News uh, football 2012. We'll dig through that. Ashton Walter, I happen to bring that copy up here with me to get my yearly autograph from Bob West. <laughs> Walter, they well, you can say Walter on every play, basically. This is Aston Walter, the quarterback. Gets about a yard. It's uh, second down and five to go. The plays are called in from the side after they get into a formation. And then the quarterback yells out the numbers, and everybody checks their wristbands. Aston goes straight back. It's looking deep. There's the pressure. And they sack him, two-yard loss. Did a good job fighting his way back close to the line of scrimmage, but uh, he could not get away from Kobe Curran, who is a one of the will be one of the best defensive players, uh, maybe the best in District 24A this year. Played a lot of good football already for Nederland. Third down and seven to go. Bulldogs trying to hold him, rushing four. Curran gets pressure on him. Deshaun Washington He's trying to get back scrambling. to him. Wow. A, a second <laughs> sack. That is tremendous. Eight-yard loss. They just kept after him. It looked like they had him back earlier. Got away from that. Deshaun Washington finished him off. 
And I'm telling you, two, and it's, it's a long way to go in this game, but two possessions in on both sides of the ball. <laughs> Nederland looks as good as uh, it had been built up to be and a lot better than those two scrimmages went. I think some people were concerned after those two scrimmages, uh, but they were scrimmages. You don't show all your cards then. A yeah. little bit of pressure that time from Washington Ball. Goes out of bounds, still in Cougar territory at the 44-yard line. So Bulldogs will have a first and 10 at that point. They're ahead 14 to nothing already. Fixing to send the offense right back out there. I mean, Needland's not, not shy about uh, doing a little bit of a hurry-up offense themselves. I'll tell you, if Nederland can can take this one in, they got great field position. It is kind of a young Crosby team. Uh, it could be a serious problem for them. They got the explosiveness to come back, but you're on the road your first game, and you get down three touchdowns in the first quarter. Uh, that's a real uh, real character check for a young team. Now, it may not happen, but uh, thus far, Nederland just really looks good. From the eyeglass formation, that's a, that's a place where the fullback gets to do the trapping. Hopkins right up the middle gets about three yards. And yeah, they pull that fullback in right behind the guard, and they use him to do the trap play. You can see him right there, and there he comes across. Hitting he the got his man, tackle. too. Yeah. He sure did. Yeah. He stood up. Number 90, Grant Narcisse, 6'1", 250, defensive tackle. And when you get a fullback that can stand up a 250-pounder, all you, all you need is a tie for a second. Yep. And that will give the running back a chance to go. Now he's back more at normal depth. Still an offset eye. There's some motion inside. Hopkins, there's a flag on the play. Hopkins makes about three yards on his own. Almost has to be an offensive penalty. Like I'm seeing a – well, he gave the holding call but then pointed to defense. And that's possible. It's rare, but it is possible yep. to hold on defense. I, I remember as a middle school coach, I once argued with an umpire about that. He won. <laughs> I'm shocked. How can you hold on defense, sir? Pardon me, sir. Surely you must be an error, sir. <laughs> oh, my, no. Well, they're still talking they're about it. They're still talking. Oh, he's given the option to Crosby, it looks like. Well, the first signal was – yeah, but I guess the official was just confused. It's uh, – Illegal now it's procedure. illegal procedure. Okay. It's changed from holding to illegal procedure. So, that will bring Nederland uh, – put re Nederland really in its – well, it went now, a wait little a minute, farther guys. than five yards here. Is that one of the new changes, a 10-yard uh, illegal I procedure? So. I think so. I think, I think they got – have we got replacement officials here tonight, Charlie? Are these <laughs> real guys or, or what's going on? We, we have a – I think Nederland is questioning now. I think Larry Newman is questioning. Now, wait a minute. We had made positive yardage. You assessed it from where the drive started. You got to go back it to, to where the ball was when that play started, and it was about the 41. Yes, sir. That was the play on that, uh, that initial trap play. So, 41 plus 5 – is usually 46 unless you work for the government. <laughs> Charlie. It could be any number, right? <laughs> All right, we got it straight. Hey. That's the important thing. Yes, sir. It's week so, zero for the referees. That's right. Got to give them a little slack here. Just having some fun with the replacement officials. They <laughs> won't be kidding about it Wednesday in New York, though. No. Next Wednesday. So it's a second down and 12 for the Bulldogs. Twins to the left. Range rolls that direction. Pulls up. He's flushed out Look of the out. pocket. Got the problem. Shakes off two tacklers. Still running. Gets to the sideline. Takes a hard hit. That's a long way for one yard. Yep. Uh, Reigns did a good job to, to stay upright as long as he could, but he just didn't have any receivers uh, that were able to move around and get free. So, uh you just knew it couldn't continue to be this easy for Nederland's offense. Crosby's got coaches. They make adjustments. And uh, now the Bulldogs looking at third and 12. And uh, it's certainly doable. The one thing you do not want to do is turn the ball over, do anything to get Crosby excited at this point in time. Three receivers to the far side of the field, excuse me, the, the wide side of the field, which is down at the bottom. 
A lot of pressure, screen. and they call the screen, screen to Hopkins. Wow, He's good got call. a lot of room, good cuts call. back, gets the first down, dives to the 30. Great call by uh -huh. Needlin and better execution by the offensive line. I'll tell you, but uh, it was the perfect call for what Crosby was doing. They were coming. Uh, watch this now. This is really well set up by Needlin. Three receivers to the bottom of the screen, so you would think they're going to throw that way. That's the Here way Rain sets. And then there it is. Just nobody back home. Uh, Hopkins should have broken outside. He, he could have. Yeah, I think he could have gone for more. But they'll take a first and ten. They're at the spread formation. New Crosby getting a little antsy defensively right now. Hopkins switches sides. Low snap. Pass is caught by Tyler Spell, number 22, the senior wide receiver. Gets to the 24-yard line. A little bit over a five-yard gain. It'll be a second down and long four. What a great job of ball control in this quarter by Nederland. I think what Crosby doesn't have a first down, do they? I think they run six plays. I believe you're right. Uh, the uh, – and those passes, like you say, they're lasering right into the receiver. The good coverage on that last uh, pass play, it's just the ball could only be caught by the yeah. receiver. The defender didn't have a chance at it. Reigns under center. Hands it off to Hopkins. He pushes the pile forward, gets the first down to about the 17-yard line. Hopkins continues to do a good job of shedding the first tackler. Watch here. They had, they had a shot at him. They had a shot at him right there. Runs right out of the tackle. Gets the first down. Bulldogs will continue with the football. Clock is running at uh, about 27 seconds. It's running down. 14 to nothing. Needleland. They've scored on their first two offensive possessions. Crosby's had to punt on their two. Battle of 19-4A and 24-A playoff teams last year. Oh, Reigns in deep work. trouble. That one didn't work. That is really the first offensive play that just totally blown up. Tried an inside uh, an inside fake handoff to Seth Barrow, and then it looked like Reigns was going to run around to the right himself, but way too much pressure there from Crosby's Eric there, Owens. Yep. Eric Owens just ran right into the play. So that's going to wind down the first quarter and an extremely impressive <laughs> first quarter, 14-0 Nederland. We'll be back in a moment. Truck, I got my hands on the button. Can y'all still hear me? I mean, okay, but is it going on to the tape? Because, I mean, they can delete it, but still. I'm going to keep using this anyway. And we'll, and we'll okay. You know, guess what? It will be Needland's ball, second down and 15. Start of the second quarter, Needland, a little bit of adversity. They've got a second down and 15 from the Crosby, 22-yard line. Reigns sacked on a keeper on the first play. He rolls to the left, steps into the pocket. He's flushed out. Linebackers all over him. He gets positive yardage. About five, maybe six yards on that play. Got back almost to where it's a, a, a 10-yard uh, pickup, and that's big. And, and you start thinking field goal at this point even. Uh, not giving up on a, a conversion on third down, but if you can get a little closer, make the kick a little easier if that's the way you have to go. 
Pressure from the defensive ends of the Cougars <coughs> forced Reigns out of the uh, pocket that time. Now the Bulldogs with three receivers to the wide side of the field, which is again to the bottom. And it looks like they're going to call a timeout here. Yes, they are. Neyland's going to call a timeout with 11-16 left as one of the uh, Mosquito Plains goes over. We're glad to see those guys. <laughs> Bob, I've got a trivia question for you. Oh, Charlie, don't do that to Oh, me. come on now. No, this, <laughs> this one will be easy. Uh, trivia question today is furnished by the Needland High School Video Tech class. And these are, these are the class members. They also man the cameras on the stadium for the video board that we're watching. Now, this will be an easy one. We're looking for an Olympic year. You know, the Olympics just got finished. And there was actually... A long time ago, I'll say, Babes a Nederland native. No, not not All babe, right. not babe. <laughs> right. There was a Nederland native who won an Olympic gold medal in the high jump. His Buddy name's Walter Davis. Buddy Davis. Now, your question posed oh, to you by the it. video tech class: What year? Olympics happen every four years. Ooh. And I'll give you a hint. It didn't happen in '44 or '40 because of World I think War it was II. Fifty-two, maybe. Was it fifty-two? Dad. Hey, uh, somebody tell Mike Sheffield, he just, uh, Bob West just beat him on this one. Bob West got it right, 1952. You're exactly right, Bob, 1952. How about that? Well, I've been around a long time, Charlie, although I wasn't here. <laughs> I was in Missouri then. I was eight years old. Buddy Davis, a Needland High School graduate, 1948, <laughs> went to A&M, graduated from there, and was a member of the Olympic team in 1952. And, Won the Olympic gold medal in high jump, and I don't think he ever made the high jump again. And went on and played in the NBA. Won some championships there, too. Reigns. Oh, wide Look. open. And Look how could he have this. been wide open? Seth Barrow shook away from his defender, what? Nathan Caldwell. Seth Barrow, third touchdown now for the Bulldogs. It is 20 to nothing as the Bulldogs pour it on. I think two Crosby defenders went with one receiver and uh, left the guy that wound up with the football. Let's see. Well, all we're going to see is the guy looking like he's the first man out to practice with nobody <laughs> around him. Referee was covering him. That's not a good thing when you're a defensive guy. Tanner Noel's kick through the uprights. He's three for three, and the Bulldogs – are three for three in offensive possessions, 21 to nothing over Crosby. I would not have predicted this. I don't know anybody that would have. I guarantee you Larry Newman wouldn't have. 21 to nothing. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. Tanner Noel about to kick off. We'd like to thank the IBEW Local Union 479 for helping to support this broadcast. Union Electrician supporting our community. The membership of Local 479 wish you a safe and enjoyable Labor Day 2012. A high short kick. Fair caught by number 19. That's Garrett Bench Sr. for the Crosby Cougars. As Crosby's offense... They've been uh, three and out here, and this is a very potent offense, something that, uh, you know, is picked to get into the playoffs out of 19-4A by Texas Football Magazine. Well, they were in the playoffs last year. Uh, they got beaten by a district, but they were in the playoffs with the, the two key players on their team being sophomores, the Walter brothers, and uh, so you have to think they're going to take a next step. Of course, you got a new coach, new system, a lot of changes, things they've got to adjust to. Ashton Walter at quarterback fakes the handoff. Wow. Oh, there's a face mask. Now I see the flag coming yep. in there. Four defensive linemen on the quarterback, Ashton Walter, but one of them accidentally, it looked like, grabbed the face mask. 
Unfortunate because they had him dead to rights. He wasn't going anywhere. It's that old thing about they just met at the quarterback. Had a defensive meeting back there. So that's Crosby's biggest play of the game <laughs> offensively. First first down. But they're still in Crosby territory at the 42. You can see her on the replay. Look like they're trying to set up some type of screen pass or something, but here's right the action. there, out. yep. Karan got him uh, his hand, just uh, reached out, caught him a face mask. There's, Walters there's some up daylight. The Look out. Uses his blocker very well, cuts back, and number 27, Austin Walter, the junior running back, gets into Bulldog Eight. territory, and that's what the Bulldogs were fearing. 26 yards, so this the one positive thing – so they needed something good to happen. It did. Nothing they created, just the accidental face mask penalty, and uh, all of a sudden they followed up with a big play. Aston Walter by himself now in the backfield, and he's just going to do a center scramble, and the defensive tackle won't let him go. Karan finishing him up. Deshaun Washington there. Caleb Malvo. Caleb Number Malvo. 49 right. stuck his hand up and grabbed a leg, and – that was it. Caleb, junior defensive lineman, great job anchoring the middle for the Bulldogs last year. Hand off to Austin Walter, gets inside the 30. Six-yard gain, it's going to end up being third down and about seven to go. Karan with help from Corbin Stampley that time. Quarterback Walter drops back. Pressure. Look at that. Wow. Wow. That, was, that wasn't pressure. That was an avalanche. Brock Pryor, number 55, led the charge. And Deshaun Washington just caved in. Watch him cave in this side. Look at that. And he's being held on top of it and uh, still got there. I tell you, this guy is going to be a heck of a football player, Charlie. That's a quarter ton of bulldog he, falling on top of a quarterback. He ate that left tackle up. So after a good run by Austin Walter in a, the 15-yard penalty, the Cougars stall out. Great defensive line play. Got to be really discouraging for Crosby. They, they thought they had a little opening to get back in the game and uh, lost it. Kick bounces into the end zone. That'll be a touchback for the Bulldogs. 8.55 left in the first half of week zero. Bulldogs 21, Cougars zero. This uh, this Nederland defensive line, pretty, pretty exciting to watch, Charlie. They're going to wreak a lot of havoc on a lot of people this year. It's exciting for us to watch yeah. it. it you know, if you were a, a, an offensive lineman. Or a quarterback. Or a quarterback or anybody who had the ball. Well, let's see if the Bulldogs can go four for four here on offensive possessions. Well, this is their worst starting field position by about 15 yards. Reigns under center. Hand off to Hopkins. Nice play. Nice defensive play. Excellent play by Lyle Buckner, senior. And he's listed as a defensive safety. He came up very quick. They must be playing him close to the belt. You can see him here right in the bottom corner. And he's going to read the play very yep, quickly. He read it all the way. Good, good stop. No gain, second down. No gain, second and 10. High formation. The wide receivers are a little bit wider than they were previously. Reigns under center, fakes the handoff, rolls to his right. Oh, just out of the reach of Marcus Barton. Is that the first incompletion tonight? I believe, I believe so. It yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, Reigns has really thrown the ball well, and the receivers have hung on to it. Reigns uh, really didn't have a, a whole lot of pressure on him. Rolling to the right, though, he's trying to kind of get it over there, but it's a tough throw to make. There was a defender in the area, and he had to get it over him. So third and ten, last time the Bulldogs looked at third down, and it was ten that time uh, they scored a touchdown. 
look for some pressure. We might see another screen pass. Staying in the eye formation. Here comes seven. They throw it inside. Oh, Great catch. Skied up did Michael Shaw. He's only 5'9", but he oh, looked wow. like a 6'10 guy at Ooh. that point. Oh, that's really – that is sweet there. That's good stuff. First down and 10 for the Bulldogs. Looked like it was overthrown, and Shaw just soared up in the air to bring it in. We're going to get another look at it here. They played way off of him. Reigns takes a three-step drop. Shaw goes up and gets it. First down, Bulldogs. And Crosby's got to be wondering, what do we have to do to stop these guys? Shaw had single coverage on the far side there. Almost a 10-yard cushion, and he used every yard of it. Here's the quick pitch to Hopkins. Oh, he split through those two linebackers beautifully. Hopkins ran into his own man. That was his uh, <laughs> biggest threat there. Was his, he almost got knocked off his feet by his pulling guard. Guard ended up taking two guys out, though. It was really good to watch. Nine and a half yards on that play. It's second down and short. Into Cougar territory at the 49-yard line. Really like the authority that Hopkins is running with, Charlie. Hopkins, a junior, 5'8", 175 pounds. Hand off to get the first down to the fullback, Marcus Barton. Just inside the 48-yard line of the Crosby Cougars. Clock stopped while they were moving the chains. It resumes its march now. Time of possessions has got to be more <laughs> one-sided one than the score. Wing-eye formation this time. Quick out just over the hands of Jalen Bearfield, senior wide receiver. Little high on the throw. He was open. But that's a, a good possession throw there. Nobody's got a chance at that ball except no. the receiver. It was high enough to get away from the linebackers. Just a little too high for Bearfield. To the spread now. Hopkins to Reigns is left. Fakes the handoff. Reigns is going to keep it. Not much ground there. He goes ahead and gets out of bounds. No gain on the play. It'll be third down. Clock stops at 636 there. And you can see running to the short side of the field. Reigns didn't have much chance there. Wanted to make sure nobody, nobody hit him too hard. Another third and long to try to convert. Bulldogs been hot on doing that, but there are just so many times that uh, when you get in the third, eight, nine, ten longer, that's uh, that's a defensive uh, situation. Three receivers to the far side, it's the wide side. Hopkins over there too. Reigns moves him. Reigns rolls to his right. Pocket starting to collapse. Got He's got room to the left. Let's see if he can get the first down. Great downfield oh. block. Reigns gets the first down. Bryce Whaley comes back and delivers a nice block. I think Reigns at that point had the first down, but still you like to see a receiver make the effort to come back and block and help his quarterback. You can see the crack back right here, and it's perfectly right legal. Yep. Heads in the front yep. and everything. So the Bulldogs convert another third down and long. They're down to the 32-yard line of the Cougars. Crosby defense got to be wearing down a little bit, Charlie. They've been out there a long time already on a not a brutally hot night, but it's still muggy. It is muggy down there. Hopkins dives forward to the 30 from a single back set. Almost looked like the Bulldogs are trying to spread the Cougars out. They had three receivers to the top side of the picture. Linebacker was able to shed his blocker and make that tackle. Well, and Charlie, they've done just exactly what Larry Newman said he wanted to do going into the game. He wanted to set up the run with the pass, and they've been so successful throwing the ball. And like you say, even spreading them out when they're not throwing, 
making him so pass conscious. Fake the handoff. He's got a crossing route open. Oh, knocked away at the last minute yeah. by Logan Porter of Crosby. Michael Shaw was open. The ball just kind of yep. hung up there just a little too much. Need to get it. Need to have it another step farther, just a little more on it. He yeah. laid it up there. Great closing speed yeah. and a great defensive play there. It or was, that uh, was, or that was six. Yeah, Porter, Porter saved himself uh, some embarrassment because he was beaten, but he came back in it and made a good play. Third. Another third and long. Can they third. do it again? From the pro formation, rolls the out. Oh, ball is out of the hands of Seth Barrow on the far yep. side. And that was a catchable ball there. That's a good throw. Can't uh, can't put that one on the quarterback. So, fourth down, they're too close to punt and too far for a field goal, I would think. So, it, it's almost uh, – think you just got to go for it here. Try to convert it. 5.36 left in the first half. First time Nederland has looked at a first down – a fourth down. Sorry. It looks like they're going to call a timeout. Yep. The Bulldogs are going to call a timeout here. 536 left in the first half. We're going to take a little break. We'll be back with this fourth down play in just a moment. If you leave and return again, you will need to purchase another ticket. Charlie, while we got a minute here, I want to extend a huge thanks on the port, part of the Port Arthur News to our corporate sponsors on this telecast, BASF Fedra, uh, FINA Petrochemical, right, Lamar everyone, University Beaumont, Medical Telecast. Center of Southeast Texas, Lamar State College Port Arthur, Community Bank of Texas, Market Basket, Motiva Enterprises, Five Point Community and Federal Credit side Union, side and Mike Fulgens, Universal Coin and Bullion. I especially want to thank Community Bank. I want to thank all of them, but uh, Community Bank is a first-time sponsor, and it, it's uh, it's really good to have them on board. I got involved with Community Bank through a guy that I'm always proud to say is a friend of mine, Walter Humphrey, through his involvement with Community Bank. And, uh, hey, if you're, you live in southeast Texas, there's a Community Bank close to you. My, mine is like two minutes away from where I work <laughs> and where I live. Anyway, we appreciate all those sponsors and welcome Community Bank. Fourth down for the Bulldogs. Nine to go from the Crosby 30. From the shotgun. Looking inside. Oh, oh off man. the hands. It would have been a first down. Great route run. And Rains. By Colton Kimler and Rains put it right there just That's off the fingers. Rains stood in there. Yeah, Rains stood in there under some pretty good heat, too. That's a. Uh, that's the first time all day. Back-to-back -back plays, Nederland dropped the ball. Uh, really the first time all night you can uh, fault anything they've done offensively. You know, the Cougars, you really can't say they, they, they defensed it. No. They really didn't no. stop them. The play was there to be made. It looked like another first down. And you see that in the NFL. I mean, oh. it, it turns it turns games around. Yep. The it, coaches it, do everything. The athletes do everything except catch the ball. Aston Walter fakes to his twin brother and keeps it. Goes forward to about the 32 for a two-yard gain. Aston Walker, the ball carrier, tackled by. And I dare say it's a, it's uh, going to be real tough for uh, Crosby to make any yardage between the tackles. They might think <laughs> they can do it, but <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to go over and around. They're not going to get it in there. Here's a half ton of bulldogs right there in the first round. Austin Walter runs to the left, gets outside and gains about three yards. And guess who comes up off the pile? Big number 90. He's been around at football a lot tonight. Sean Washington. Crosby again, uh, more of a hurry-up offense than uh, the Bulldogs do. Both of them wave in the signals, but Crosby, they're well known for trying to get two plays off in 15 seconds. 
Here's the fake hit screen. And the defensive tackle, he stays home. That's his job. Number 52, Kobe Curran stays in there to make sure that the center is covered. Okay, let's take a look at it again. You see Kobe stunned Curran to the stayed inside. Home, made the play, locked up. And uh, I wouldn't rule out a fake punt here. Crosby's uh, about on the verge of being desperate. This may be a little deep in their own territory, but uh, they've got to make something happen or they're, they're, uh, they're on the verge of being out of the ball game. Tight punt formation. He's got a runner. It's going to be caught, well caught in the air by Michael Shaw. Number two puts on some dandy moves, breaks into the open, gets to the 44-yard line. Shaw saved a bunch of yards by catching that punt. He was trying to run away from him. He caught it in the air. And look at these nifty moves here. I mean, we I call that water bugging. You stop, you yeah. change direction, you try and cut back behind them, and then you cover up the ball and make sure it's there when you hit the ground. Okay, 339 left, Nederland 56 yards from the end zone. If the Bulldogs could put one in here, you'd have to feel really good about going into the half up 28 zip. Pro formation, Carson Reigns under center. Hands it off to Hopkins on the G-load. Hopkins gets five yards. Great offensive line work by the Bulldogs tonight. Those guards and tackles and center have really been opening up big holes. You can see here both guards are going to pull 55 and 66, either kicking out or sealing on the inside, yeah. and Hopkins just playing off of their blocks. Yeah, Jacob Brinkley, nice job there coming down. Second down, they gave him four yards. It'll be a long six for the Bulldogs. 48-yard line. Offset eye formation. New tailback, number 11, Zach Taylor. And Crosby got a lot of penetration there. There's no, no place for the back to go. So Nederland in another third and long situation. Yeah, number number 55, 55 just yeah. came right in. That's Tremonte Green, senior defensive end. He was able to get rid of his blocker quickly. I'm not too sure Crosby likes putting the Bulldogs in third and long. <laughs> it's kind of brings out the best right. of Nederland. It's been advantage offense most of the night. Pro formation. Reigns under pressure. Oh, almost a fantastic catch. Mm -hmm. Ball was behind on the back shoulder of Seth Barrow, yeah. and Seth was able to turn around and get hands on it but could not hold on to it. So no flags on the play. It's fourth down and ten. Watch this pass. Ooh. He caught the back end right. of the ball but couldn't bring it in. So Nederland will try it out its punter for the first time tonight. I don't know. Range can quick kick out of this formation. We've seen him do that before. They don't. Crosby doesn't have anybody back. And that's a perfect and play. And it worked. It really worked. Get the forward roll. It's going to dive close to the ten yard line, right about the twelve. A little well puzzled. Played. A little puzzled that Crosby didn't send anybody back. They couldn't have really been thinking Nederland's going. So on a fourth and ten, Nederland kind of surprises Crosby. 12-yard line for the Cougars. Two minutes left in the first half. They're down 21 to nothing. This is an explosive offense that has shown a little bit of action by Austin Walter in the last possession. I, I believe they have two first downs, Charlie, and one of those by penalty. But, saw, again, uh, they have the players that can burn you at any time. Aston Walter, number seven, the quarterback, fakes a handoff to his brother. He's looking deep, but he's under pressure, trying to throw it short, and he gets it away short to his brother. And this is trouble. Number 27 is dragging people. That's Austin heck, Walter. That's a heck of a play there. He was down. You thought he was down. Gets it out of there and turns into a big gainer for Crosby. And Nederland 
Last thing Nederland wants now is to let Crosby get something on the board here. Just look at this guy. He, he just Karan gets has him locked up, and he still dumps it out, turns it into a big play, and that's why you can't relax against these guys. Another dump for a uh, dump play to the inside. Same basic play. This time it was designed that way. Take, uh, taken by Justin Walter, the senior brother. The, the, can't Nederland, call them triplets, but they Nederland, play like it. Nederland defense got to rise up here now. It, the, Crosby gets the ball to start the second half, so you don't want them scoring to go in, get a lot of uh, excitement, momentum built up. Ball's ball loose. Is loose. And that's oh, the wow. End. It's the end of that threat. Deshaun Washington comes up with a football. Inside handoff to Austin Walter, and you could see him jerk backward when his arm and ball were taken from him by the sh by No. The, uh, it was 55 that made Brock the hit. Pryor. Brock Pryor. And Sean could, Washington came up with it, and well, uh, the flame flickered out rather quickly for Crosby. I tell you, well played there by Brock Pryor. <laughs> yes, it was. Senior defensive lineman. He's listed at 275, two varsity letters already. Well, Nederland has favorable field position. Uh, no reason to try to run the clock out, I wouldn't think. I think they'll attack, try to get another one on the board. Range with Hopkins to his left. Just a quick little bubble screen goes to Michael Shaw. Number two gets out of bounds. There's a flag well behind the play as Shaw is taken out at the 49-yard line. Charlie, can you turn the defroster on up here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our uh, our window is kind of fogging over. You've got uh, fans. You've got an HD picture at home, but uh, uh, we might I'm, during halftime. I need to go get the squeegee out of my office and come clean this window here. <laughs> it's really getting tough. It's all it's here. all on the outside. Yeah, it's, it's not on the, on the outside. Inside. Well, that that moves Nederland back now, and where they're looking at first and twenty, you might now want to be uh, a little more careful. Maybe start working on the clock now. Got a 21-point lead. Needlin goes ahead and calls them into the huddle. Burn a few extra seconds. 20s on both sides. Hopkins is behind Reigns. One back formation. They're just going to hand it to Hopkins up Look the middle. And he breaks the crease. Hopkins taken down at the 41-yard line. 24-yard, maybe a 25-yard gain for Hopkins just on a quick hitter right up the middle. What a bolt of lightning up the middle. Crosby thinking pass spread out. Here comes Hopkins up the middle. Good block there by the referee. So now the Bulldogs are back into a more aggressive mode, thinking they got a chance to score. Passes to the side of Brandon Self. Senior wide receiver as Reigns had some pressure coming up the middle. Reigns had to sidestep a little bit and put a little too much motion on that ball. Down to 41 seconds. Bulldogs uh, need to it, need 42 yards. I'm sure they'd like to at least get three out of this. Tanner Noel has got a very good leg. He proved that last year. Recruited from the soccer team to be the Bulldog kicker last year. Range looks deep. Off the hands of Colton Kimler. A little bit low. Kimler had to kind of slide to try and get the ball. So it's going to be a third down and ten. 37 seconds left in the first half. Three receivers to the top of the screen, along with Hopkins. Range rolls that way, but he's going to be taken yeah. down from the backside as they had a, a cornerback blitz coming yeah. in from Valdemar Hernandez. And if Crosby doesn't call timeout, Nederland could uh, let the thing run out here. They hadn't even started the play clock. Uh, if I'm Crosby, I got to at least call a timeout and try to block the punt, Charlie. 
I think they're just kind of in a daze. They just want to go on in. Their clock's counting down now, and Needland's just going to sit there and watch it. And that's going to be it for the first half. And the Needland Bulldog faithful is very happy with what's happened. 21 points is the Bulldog score on the first three possessions. We're going to throw it back to the Fox 4 sports crew as they'll give you some halftime highlights and scores from the rest of the football games in Southeast Texas. We'll be back for the second half of the Port Arthur News Friday Night Experience in just a few moments. Okay, we're back here for the second half kickoff. Needland's going to give it to the Crosby Cougars, kind of a low kick from Tanner Noel taking it the five-yard line. Cougars steps out of bounds at the 25, and Bob, you've got some first-half stats for us. Yeah, and they really reflect Needland's domination here, Charlie. First downs, uh, Crosby only has three, Needland has 12. Yards rushing, Crosby only 26, Needland 96. Yards passing, uh, Crosby 41. Most of that came right at the end of the half. Nederland 133. So that's total yardage, 229 for Nederland, 67 for this explosive Crosby offense. We'll do the team stats here in a minute. Walker hands off to Walker and uh, Austin Walter, number 27, makes something out of nothing. Look at him fighting over there on the far side for an extra yard. I could hear the... Uh, the Cougar coaches during halftime talking to their kids, making adjustments, but also trying to get them to fire, get them fired up about the possibilities of the second half. That's pretty much all individual effort there by Walter to get that. Nederland was in good position to, to stop him cold. Second down and two. This time the quarterback, Aston Walter, keeps it. And that's Colby Curran again. He's having a tremendous game. He's got two sacks in the first half. He's mad because the guy dove forward <laughs> and got two yards. He wanted the sack. Third down and short. They're still in the spread formation. And it's a sweep. Ashton breaks it. Gets through. Gets the first down. Taken out of bounds by Colton Kimbler. First down for the Cougars at their 40. Just a real quick sweep into the short side of the field. First down, Good downfield blocking there, and you see Kim Kimbler taking him out of bounds. Hand off to Austin Walter, number 27, the tailback, gains four. Corbin Stampley in on the hit for the Bulldogs. Crosby trying to get something going on the ground here. And again, their hurry up offense. They barely give enough time for Sheffield Productions replay to happen. Oh, Deshaun's Look. tracking him down. He throws oh. it up and throws it away. He threw it out of bounds as Deshaun <laughs> Washington had a little red dot on Walter's back that time. Oh, I mean, Walter saved himself some real grief by unloading the ball. He's probably going into his huddle saying, can you guys block 90 or 92? <laughs> and so far the answer is no. Aston Walter, the quarterback, his brother, twin brother, Austin to his right. And there comes Washington again. Pass is caught by Benji Meshi. Benji Meshi gets the first down to the Bulldog 42-yard line, first and 10 for the Cougars. So Crosby got a little something going here, but uh, not because Washington didn't get pressure on the quarterback. Nice crossing pattern there against the man-to-man -man defense the Bulldogs had. Ashton hands off, and his brother's trying to get outside. He got around Curon, but there's the sideline. Got maybe a yard. Yeah. 
Ashton throws a little hitch screen to number 19 over there. That's Garrett Bench, the senior wide receiver. You know they'd like to try to throw the ball down a field more, but they just don't have time to do it. And I'll be honest, the way that play looked, or the way uh, Austin Walter was running toward him, it almost looked like uh, you know, the hook and ladder that the Bulldogs used one time a couple of years ago. Fakes the handoff, rolls to his left, loses the ball, and bounces right back to him. And he just throws it over to his brother who was open, but he overthrew his brother. <laughs> nice job of improvising, but he was fortunate the ball bounced right, or, or this could have been a big loss. Ball bounced right back up to him. Sage say number 10 over there Nederland, on coverage. Yeah, Nederland not quite sure they're going to punt it. Now they're going to drop back uh, a couple of – well, they're going to drop back one. Another tight punt formation. He's going to go ahead and punt it. Got a bit of a spiral on it. It didn't turn over. It was touched by one of the Cougars at about the 17-yard line. First and ten for the Bulldogs, so they hold the first rush there by the Cougars. Look at we we'll take a look at some of these individuals for Nederland. Uh, Charlie Kendrick Hopkins, ten carries for 63 yards in the first half. Uh, Carson Reigns, nine for 24 in two short touchdowns. Reigns was nine of 17 for 133 yards and a touchdown through the air. Shaw, two catches for 67. Barrow, one for 18 and a TD. Self one for 16, Hopkins one for 16. Except for a couple of drop passes, pretty uh, pretty efficient offensive performance by the Bulldogs. Reigns under center. And they're doing reverse. the reverse to Michael Shaw. Reigns goes out and blocks the cornerback. Shaw is able to dive forward for about seven yards on the game. Play like that often breaks big. Of course, it's a it's a risky play to run because of all the ball handling, but they did it flawlessly, and there's a block. Six yards on the gain. It'll be second down and four. 21 to nothing, the Bulldogs. They scored on their first three offensive possessions. Pro formation. Hopkins with the ball. Bounces outside, and the Cougars are catching up to him. Yep, a lot of penetration up front for Crosby. After those first three offensive possessions, the Cougars have kind of figured out a little bit about the offense. And starting off, Crosby uh, had three down linemen, and everybody else was playing seven to ten yards deep. They've definitely closed up after the Bulldogs uh, took full advantage of that with an exhibition of passing and catching early on. Crosby, uh, they have gotten better defensively. Of course, late in the first half, Nearon had a couple of drops, or they might have gone on in and scored a fourth touchdown. High twins, balls on the ground. I believe Reigns got it back. There was a lot of pressure up the middle from Crosby, and it looked like they pushed the center back into Reigns. And this might be the full punting unit. Bulldogs did a quick kick in the first half. Crosby anticipating they have one guy deep. Number 17 senior Justin Walter. A little bit of a low snap and a low kick. He's just going to try and run it away, and it it splashes over there in the water by the track. They had a, a pretty good thunderstorm here at Bulldog Stadium around noon, and the ball hit fly, uh, flying in there. They're trying to figure out where wow, it crossed the, the inbound. Wow, keeps walking back. They're going to get it at the Nederland 40. So it's only about a 20-yard punt. Well, that's by far Crosby's best starting field position. We'd like to thank the scoreboard sponsors of the Needle and Independent School District, Five Point Credit Union, J.K. Chevrolet, the Gulf Credit Union, 
Nature's Federal Credit Union, Christus Hospital, St. Elizabeth and St. Mary, and the William Dornbos family. The Needland ISD scoreboard sponsors. Ashton throws it deep. He's going into double coverage and out throws both of the Bulldogs and the single Cougar that was over there. That was just a fly pattern. Let's see if you can outrun everybody. <laughs> Play was well defended. One of the few times they've had a chance to throw it down the field before uh, Curran and Washington unloaded on the quarterback. Colton Kimler there was playing deep thirds, and he just turned and went with the, the wide receiver. Inside handoff to Austin Walter. Great job of stringing the play out. Had him running sideways, allowed the defense to pursue up to the ball. Nothing at all in, is in, in terms of yardage. It'll be third and ten. It's textbook stuff defensively when you, you force the guy to keep running sideways. And uh, four or five Bulldogs led by Jordan Wood finally get up to bring him down. Aston Walter drops back. Under pressure, tries to get away, but is unable to do so. And that's 9-0 uh, there, Bob. And Caleb Malvo, Washington and Malvo. And you just. <laughs> what can you say, the five-yard sack? I tell you, Nederland fans are, are going to really have a lot of enjoyment watching this defense play this season. <laughs> they are really good. Zach Taylor and Michael Shaw dropping back to take the punt from the Cougars. He does a worm burner there. Shaw takes it. Throws straight oh, up the sideline. He's woo. down the line. You can see that coming from a, a mile away. I believe that was Jordan Wood that uh, knocked somebody into tomorrow. He peeled back and found one Cougar who was looking at Shaw and didn't realize Wood was coming in on his six. And, and the crowd still fired up yeah, about that. I mean, you could see for about five yards, you could see the collision coming. We have the advantage way yeah, up here. Way we up can here, see, right. You can see it happening. And, you know, it's like my nickname when we played basketball was Screamer because I knew I was about to get hurt, <laughs> and I would start yelling before contact. Well, this poor Cougar had no idea what the Jordan Wood, a linebacker, was sighting in on him to make sure he didn't hit Michael Shaw on that return. First down and 10, 522 left in the third quarter. Bulldogs ahead, 21 to nothing. Handoff to Hopkins, and he keeps those legs pounding, gets close to the 40-yard line. Six-yard gain for the junior running back. And Kendrick Hopkins has a shot at 100-yard rushing game tonight. He had 10 for 63 in the first half, so he needs 37 yards here in the second half. Another look at it, just pretty much straight ahead with the pulling guard in front of him, and he keeps his legs moving, gets extra distance. Second down. Cheerleaders tossing the souvenir first game footballs up into the stands. Fake inside. Oh, there's the handoff again to Hopkins. Look at him bounce forward. And, uh, Bowling ball. Uh, it's going to be about 12 more toward that rushing total for Kendrick Hopkins. So he's up around 80 right now. Just power football here. Great. Great work up front, and then Kendrick Hopkins, as he's done all night, uh, shedding tackles. And is that a Bulldog player or a It's a It's one of the Crosby, Cougars. Looked yeah. like one of the uh, linebackers that came up. We'll take advantage of this opportunity to thank the Port Arthur News Friday Night Experience corporate sponsors. Again, we could not do it without these guys. Mike Fulgen at United Coin and Bullion. Five Point Community Federal Credit Union, Motiva Enterprises, Market Basket, Community Bank of Texas, Lamar State College, Port Arthur, the Medical Center of Southeast Texas, Lamar University in Beaumont, and BASF FINA Petrochemicals. And you can be a part of this. We've got a full 11 game season planned for a Friday night experience. Again, the best football in Southeast Texas. Next week, 
will be watching West Orange Star come across the river and take on the Indians of PNG at that beautiful reservation. So the clock running again. Nederland first down on the Crosby side of the field at the 49-yard line. A little bit of a low snap. Range goes back. He sits down. The receiver is on the ground, and here comes the flag. There are two flags thrown out there. May Passes be a, in the direction of Barrow. May be offsetting here. It may be holding where this other flag came down. Either holding or a late hit on the quarterback. That's right. There are two flags downfield, yeah. one back where the quarterback is. And it looks like they're coming back to the line of scrimmage. So, uh, holding yep, against holding the offense. Nederland, pass interference. Play the down over. Holding on the Bulldog. An illegal contact on the defense. The Cougars. They offset each other. There's the look at it again. Now I think, think I see where the holding was. It's always better to grab that defensive lineman than let him unload on your quarterback. Uh, it's spoke, spoken by the dad of a quarterback there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. So we go back and repeat the hold down. Lost the time. We'll never get that back. Hand off to Hopkins up the middle. He pushes it forward. He's done a great job really of, of, of yards after yep. contact. He really has. And I had him at, at 80 yards before that carry, and he adds about seven, so it's going to put him up around 87, 88 yards for the night. And this is just smash mouth football. There's really nothing fancy about it. You can see the the center of the offensive line just pushed the defense backward. Sometimes that you know, forget about the the traps or all the fancy influence yep. plays. Just line up and blow them off. Come at them. Second down and three to go. Hopkins takes the ball, dives forward to the 40. They've got his knee at the 41. That's where it'll be marked. Third and short, third and maybe a yard. Got to, I think, look at this like it's four down territory. They tried a little bit of a trap there, but the linebacker came in to fill the hole as the left guard pulled across. Again, Crosby seen a lot from the Bulldogs, more than they cared to in that first quarter. Power formation. This is the play that they scored the first touchdown on. Carson Reigns gets the first down to the 37-yard line. That's a four-yard gain on third and two. Almost looked like the old single wing formation, Charlie. It probably I was. <laughs> I know you remember that. You've got uh, two two blocking backs on one side, and the quarterback just takes the ball and follows them wherever he can go, wherever the hole is. Now the Bulldogs are going to slow it down just a little bit. Reigns actually ran to the sideline to get the play. Well, they've, they've eaten some clock with this possession. Hand off to Marcus Barton from the one back. Set, number three, takes it around the left side. Pick up a three yards on the play. Barton with three. And there he is, Larry Newman. Good article in the Port Arthur News football uh, annual spectacular. What do, we, what do we call it there? Good article about Coach Newman and his 20 years here in year. Nederland. Pretty, uh, pretty unusual anymore for a guy to be 20 years in one place. Of course, that means if, if you stay, you've had a lot of success, and he certainly has. I wing this time for the Bulldogs. Pulling the guard. Range rolls out. Ball pops loose. Oh, did he lose it? Range yeah. fights for it. A lot of people jumping on top of the Bulldog quarterback over Cros there. Crosby had more shots at it than Nederland. They seem excited over there on the Crosby side. I've got to Bulldogs think it's their football. Lost the ball. Crosby's got it at their own 48-yard line. Ball popped loose there, and you can see Reigns trying to get it, but 
There were way too many Cougars in that area. It could have wound up being a touchdown there. That's a dangerous one. So I think we're tied one turnover each now. Yeah. Austin Walter stripped of a ball earlier. Recovery uh, made that time by Deshaun Washington. Now Carson Reigns loses lose it on the rollout. Cougars with a minute 35 left in the third quarter. Trying to put some points on the board in week zero. Aston Walter throws a little slip screen on the inside to his older brother, Justin Walter. He had enough pressure on him that he threw it behind the receiver. Play fake slowed down the rush just enough for him to get the ball off, but not a very productive play. Now the ball uh, play has changed there. Quarterback tells everybody what to do, and he's going to keep it. Throws underneath there, and this time it is caught by his brother, Justin Walter. That's going to be a first down for the Cougars. In Bulldog territory at the 38-yard line. Basically, it looked like everybody went deep, and Walter just ran an under route. They're using play action a little bit now to slow down the rush. This time he hands it off, and it goes nowhere because of number 55, Brock Pryor. Brock Pryor just devastated the offensive blocker in front of him and collapsed down on Austin Walter. There are so many good players on that Nederland defense, so many guys that can make plays for you. It's going to be hard to pick a player of the game here during the fourth quarter. Now, this is a lateral. But it doesn't matter. It's going to be lost yardage as Austin Walter takes the swing pass from his brother. And look at the pursuit and look at look at Washington getting out here to make this play. This guy is really something. Along with number 25, Jordan Wood. Third down and 10. Procedure. But that's going to, well, oh, I don't know. The at the end of the well, quarter, okay. I believe. The end of the third yep. quarter. 21 to nothing. Needle and over Crosby at the end of the third quarter. We'll take a break and be back with the fourth in just a moment. The Crosby Cougars, zero. We would like to remind fans to please stay off the field after the game until the coaches have met with the teams and have dismissed them. Thank you. 12 minutes left in week zero, needle in ahead, 21 to nothing. I'd like to thank the members of the Sheffield Productions crew who are helping bring this game to you. The announcers, of course, Charlie Jellin and Bob West. Director is Mike Sheffield. Technical director, Liz Sheffield. Doing all those great replays, the replay operator, Blake Bello. We'll get some of the rest of the names here in just a minute. As they reset the chains, it's going to be a third down and 10 for Crosby from the Bulldog 38-yard line. The refs are ready, the chains are ready, and here come the Cougars. Fakes the handoff, pressure right off the bat. Benji Mesh, number six, catches that ball. You talk about a safety valve. Yep. Well, Walter brought, brought him some time running away from the pass rush. He had pressure quick right there. They rode uh, 92 out of the pocket, bought a little time, and this is by far Crosby's deepest uh, possession of the night. Right at the 20. Austin Walter with the ball. Great cutback there. Gets him inside the 15 to the 13-yard line. Bulldogs respecting Walter's outside speed. Yep. Forced him back inside where the linebackers and the secondary are supposed to be. But, again, Crosby likes to spread you out with their offense and play one-on-one -on -one with their 
outstanding running backs. Running the option here. Great play over there by Seth Barrow to take down Aston Walter. Washington forced him wide enough to give Barrow a chance to come up and make the play, and Barrow did. Watch Washington pursues, forces him to go wide. Barrow comes up, gets him off his feet, forces a third and six. Crosby's taking their time on this one, making sure they get the right play in. Clock is running down. Play clock's at seven. That might be the farther as they bled it in the whole game. Straight drop back and oh. I wonder if it was a, where did the flag come from? Did he get the snap off in time? I thought he did. It was only about eight seconds. Almost has to be an offensive penalty. Illegal procedure called against the offense. Somebody moved early. You know, he got it down to the play clock down to seven yeah. seconds, but it wasn't anywhere close to being a zero. But the Bulldogs will take that penalty, knock them back to a third down and 11 to go. Aston Walter, it's going to straight drop back, air ball down the middle. It's going to be a touchdown. Great pass and catch to number 15, Raylan Singleton, junior wide receiver. Got inside coverage there. Got inside on the Bulldog secondary. No one was playing center third that time. Got just enough time to step back, get the ball off, and uh, Crosby is on the board. And really, you have to say, uh, in the football game now with 10 minutes, 15 seconds left, they're down two scores. Crosby looked like they were trying to set up the swing and gate, but they had one, one offensive lineman on the sideline didn't realize that they had scored. So they're just going to do the straight kick here. And it's good. 21-7 is the score. 10-15 left in the game. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. your friends at Gulf Credit Union. Gulf Credit Union has been involved in our local communities for almost 70 years, never forgetting our mission statement, people helping people. And we will proudly continue to serve our friends and neighbors. Go dogs! Nature's Federal Credit Union is a proud partner of the Needland Scoreboard. We want to wish Neyland Bulldogs the best of luck this football season. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to keep up with all the latest promotions, giveaways, and credit union swag. 7-21 to 21 now. Crosby getting on the board. Set to kick off is Chase Nix, his second kickoff of the game. He led off, and the Bulldogs took the ball straight down. Beautiful series, opening series to get seven points. Got to be ready for the onside here, I would think, Charlie. Nope. He's going to pooch kick, kick it, it down, taken in the air by the Bulldogs. Tackled hard at the 29-yard line, taken in the air by Tyler Spell. So the Bulldogs now have a good opportunity to get another time-consuming drive here. Yeah, they need to uh, at least move the chains a couple of times, take a little time off the clock, change field position. Crosby a little fired up now, got some confidence in their offense. Proud to wear the black and gold and support the Needland team. NISD is grateful for their support. Last thing you want here is a three and out. Give them the football back real quick. They're playing real close to the offensive line here. Carson Reigns hands off to Hopkins, and he busts loose. Hopkins, great cut back there, gets him outside to about the 46-yard line. It's a gain of about 17 yards, no flags on the play. First down for the Bulldogs. And I believe Crosby was offside. Did you see that? It didn't make any difference, but uh, he got 17, and that puts Kendrick Hopkins up real close to 100. I'm going to say he's about – 
96 or 97. We really miss David Coleman up here, don't we? Yeah, we really <laughs> but, do. But he, he's working elsewhere tonight. He's covering a, a, a little small school, I think, named Port Arthur Memorial. Yeah. We'll have him in the booth next week, I believe. I think he's with us next week. Pro formation, and uh, the Bulldogs have a little bit of confusion, so they call a timeout. That will give me an opportunity to do one last uh, shout-out to the Sheffield Productions crew list. The audio and secondary replay operator is Robert Bigfoot Styles. Scoreboard graphics is Chris Guthrie. The field director is Lou Sheffield. Running the field cameras on the left-hand side, your left is Dale LeBlanc. On the right-hand side, Cody Riggs. And running the twin sisters up top, those brand-new HD cameras, Danny Bello and Kenny Litvick. I think they've been around since the beginning. Production assistant for Sheffield Productions is William LeBlanc. We want to thank all those guys. It's, I'm, not, I'm going to knock on wood when I say this. It's been a, a flawless production, guys. You've done an excellent job getting ready for week zero, better than those replacement referees. <laughs> yeah, it's some good stuff. They really, for a first game, really has been good. And you can really tell the difference with those HD cameras, uh, you know, coming from up top. The, of course, I like the fact they're called the Twin Sisters. I get to explain that Texas history aspect. Battle of San Jacinto, guys, the only two cannons the Texans had, a couple of little bitty cannons they called the Twin Sisters. Bringing you the game today. Hopkins dives forward, gets into the scrum there as one of the Crosby uh, linebackers decides to go ahead and roll over the top of everybody. Kind of took him a ride. Well, that wasn't Hopkins. It was, was that Hopkins? It was 14. Uh, 20, uh, I think 24, yeah, 24, was, yeah. 24 was carrying it, but 14 was blocking it. Yeah. You're right. He's right on the bottom of the pile, and they roll on his legs. Yeah. I hated that as an offensive yeah. lineman. <laughs> and Coach said, we'll keep running. Don't, <laughs> don't. don't fall down. Eye formation, and again, needle and bleeding that clock down, getting it inside five seconds before they snap. Hopkins bounces nothing into there. his blocker that time. There's nothing on second down and eight. If he's going to get to 100, he's got to get some positive yeah, here. Yeah, Crosby had a lot of people up there. He had about seven, eight men up in the box the playing run. Uh, Bulldogs, they know the Bulldogs trying to uh, run clock and kind of daring them to throw it. Neerland ran it into the teeth of the defense, didn't get anywhere, probably had to throw it now on third and long. Now, if the Bulldogs have been able to hold on to some of their earlier passes, it'd been a blowout game, yeah. really. That's kind of what they're looking for now. Roll out to the right. Reigns gets away from his pursuit. The pass caught. is caught by Barrow, but it's short of the first down. Short of the first down. Well, we're fogged up again, so it's hard to tell how f the distance. I haven't seen the punt team come out, and I'm a little surprised at this, Charlie. It's about four. It's about <laughs> fourth down and four. Probably do the short punt with Reigns here, I would think. That's what they're going to do. And that way Crosby won't send anybody back, and uh, neither one will have a champ. But would be shocked if he didn't kick it, and he does. Here goes the quick kick, and it's got a good roll on it. Dies pretty much right at the 17-yard line. That's a good weapon to uh, keep people from getting return yards on you. 7.20, still enough time. Crosby still not out of the game. And uh, so it'll be a time for the Nederland defense to go and go out and reassert itself. I think one stop would pretty well take care of things. And in just a moment, uh, Bob and I will be announcing the player of the game brought to you by the union electrician supporting our community that's ibew local union 479 the entire membership of ibew local 479 wish you a safe and enjoyable labor day this 2012 austin walter reverses his field but there's more bulldogs on that side it's tackled back at about the 13 yard line that's going to be a loss of three yards Look at, okay, Karan almost has him. He forces him back the other way. 
And all of a sudden, Crosby's in second and long. Second down and about 13, maybe 12. It's hard to tell on the far side over there. Walter drops straight back. Pressure, and he's going to be sacked again. Sacked at the six-yard line. Deshaun Washington, and we've called that name a few times. That, that's, a, that's a big kid there. He's playing offense. He's playing defense. He's probably sold tickets and drinks at halftime. And he and uh, he and his buddy, uh, number 49, kind of met at the quarterback, Caleb Malvo. NISD would like to thank all our sponsors who helped make this. We have an injury on the field. I believe it's one of the uh, Cougars down over there. No, it's one of the Bulldogs. I can see there in the end zone. We're going to go ahead and take a break here. We got 6:26 left in the fourth quarter. Bulldogs ahead of the Cougars, 21 to seven. Stay with us. We would like to take this opportunity to remind fans to please stay off the field after the game until the coaches have met with the teams and have dismissed them. Thank you. On a third down and 20, Ashton Walter, the quarterback, is flushed out of the pocket by the Needle and Bulldog defense. He gets from the six about out to the 17 for an 11-yard gain, but it was third and 21, actually, so he's going to be in, end up 10 yards short. Yeah, Sage Say comes up and makes a nice play, Charlie, or he might have broke it out of there for a first down because he got by the first wave. Fourth down and 10, deep in their territory. It looks like the Cougars will go ahead and punt. And that they do. Again, another high kick. Goes over the head of the receiver, so that's going to bounce a while. Zach Taylor finally picks it up. Tries to get to the wall, and he's got it. Zach Taylor, without a, if there's no penalty, and he keeps his feet, one guy to beat for the Cougars. And the last Cougar oh. brings him down at about the eight. Make it the nine-yard line. Hope we can get another look at that one. Great there play is. there by Zach Taylor. Look at this. He chases it all the way by, let, gets away from him. Now he's got it. Jumps over the first one, reverses, and then he picks up some help from his blockers. There is a 2001 Volvo license. Outruns Kyle Leal, number eight, but focusing in on him is senior Marcus Wade, number 11, finally took him down. But it's all for naught. It's all coming back. Illegal block brings it all back, though. Sensational run there by Zach Taylor. May have been set, may have been set up by an illegal block, though. There's another look at it. Well, he did some work here. Let's see. Where is that? There was probably there it was right, right there. 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 Yeah. That's too bad. That was a heck of, a, heck of an effort play. Congratulations. It certainly cost Nederland a lot of field. But that would have been the door slammer there. They have the ball inside the 10-yard line. So the Bulldogs back to the 20. Main thing they got to do now is protect the football. Don't turn it over. Don't give Crosby anything cheap. Carson Reigns under center. Hopkins with the ball. They're trying to strip it from him. He's holding on to it. Gain of about two yards. But the big thing is the clock is running. Crosby getting a lot of people up near the line of scrimmage, just making it very difficult now to run the ball. The old adage about eight in the box. Yeah, they're just pretty much daring Nederland to throw it. I think play action here. You got a senior quarterback, trust him to make a good decision, but I think play action uh, would have a chance to, uh, you'd have a chance to make a play downfield. Between Michael Shaw, Seth Barrow, and Colton Kimler, he's had some good plays. Looking to throw the ball. Nobody's open. So he's going to fake it and keep it. Run out of bounds. 26-yard line. 
I wish he had fallen down inbounds, though. He yeah. stopped that yeah. clock at 419. Third down and a long three to go for Needleland. Yep, just one first down would go a long way uh, toward uh, wiping the rest of this thing out. A little surprised they didn't throw off play action. It was just a straight drop back throw there. Oh, everybody jumped there. It's, uh, but I think the Bulldogs are going to be the ones called well, for it. It may be a neutral zone violation because the Needleland's player fired out with Crosby in, in the uh, neutral zone. We get another look at that. I know Carson Raines thinks that it's on Crosby. It's a very long discussion. Let's see what the call is. Yeah, we're going to get a replay here. Yeah, that's the right call. Okay, let's see the replay. You're going to see at the top of the screen, left end is going to come across, and then Nederland's going to react. Left end held his hands up. I didn't do that. Yeah. Look at this unprovoked aggression toward me. <laughs> All right. That's a big first down for the Bulldogs. Now they can run it three more times and really eat a lot of the clock off. Offset eye right for the Bulldogs. Hopkins deep, Barton at fullback. They give it to Hopkins, and he's almost stutter-stepping when he gets to the line because the defensive line of the Cougars is coming out low and getting that penetration. Timeout's going to be called here by the Cougars. Stop the clock from going any further. Looks like about three yards on the gain there, and that's good old-fashioned football scrum right there. Got to think Hopkins is probably up uh, over 100 yards, although the last four or five carries have been in the one and two and maybe three-yard range. But he, he was uh, knocking on the door. Well, and next week the Port Arthur News Friday night experience is going to be at the reservation with PNG hosting West Star and Stark. Bob, do you recall week three? Week three is Houston West Side at Memorial. And then in week four, when uh, Nederland and everybody else is off, we're going to do something a little different and go out to Orangefield for Kelly and Orangefield. Kelly and Orange, that's right. The, four, the, the little, four A's are all off right. and the two five A's are out of town. Right. Let's let some of the little guys get the uh, chance to be – as well as I can recall, we've had Orangefield one time on the Port Arthur News Friday Night Experience. We've had Kelly once or twice. Okay. Well, I, now, uh, we Nick Canisales and James Ware were telling me that the Orangefield tailgate parties are memorable. They're, really? They're, they're really good over there, so we're going to have to go early and get I some guess. stuff to yeah, eat over there. there. You go. 4 4 to go. Second down for the Bulldogs. And there's that eyeglass. Not, not quite an eye formation with the fullback being in tight. He runs the trap and... Hopkins goes up the middle, if, and he might have got to the 25 or just across. Again, another timeout called there by Crosby. So that's going to take them down to one timeout. They're trying to hold them here and maybe get a turnover or something like that. But, you know, from this is a non-district game. You want to see what your guys are capable of doing. And if anything, you're going to try all sorts of stuff. I'm surprised we didn't see that yep. fake punt earlier yep. or an too. onside kick. Yep. Great turnout here for the Needland Bulldogs on their first game. The uh, Well, Bob, let's, let's go ahead and, and talk <laughs> about player of the game here. We, it's kind of hard for us to pick a single one, isn't it? Well, and, and, and this is kind of a cop-out. People will say, well, it's a cop-out, <laughs> but – not really, because what we're going to defend what we're doing here. We're going to pick Nederland's defensive line, and uh, in particular, I mean, it would have been so hard to pick between Deshaun Washington and Kobe Curon, uh, but there was also some good play up front. Uh, Caleb Malvo. Caleb Malvo, and uh, what Brock? Well, Brock Pryor wasn't wasn't up front, but it, it's just a whole front group in Nederland, particularly. 
Washington and uh, and number 92, Kobe Curon. So we're just going to say the defensive player or the player of the game is Nederland's defensive line. They shut down a really good offense for most of the game. Play of the game. There's a couple of them right over there on the bench. Yes, indeed. Play of the game brought to you by IBEW Local 479. Screen, Screen pass was set up to Hopkins, but too much pressure, too quick. Right. It was uh, it was the perfect call. They just couldn't get it off. So it looks like the IBEW 479 players of the game will get to go back on the field here in just a minute. I see Curon getting off of the bench and putting his helmet on. He's ready to go back in. This is still a game. You know, Needlin needs to realize they're only yep. two scores ahead. And in, in high school football, we've seen teams score touchdowns within 15, 20 seconds. And I don't know if they're going to be going for the block here or going for the return. Punt from Seth Barrow. Dies right in front of the receiver. The uh, number 17 didn't even try for it from Crosby. Justin Walters just let it die there at the 28-yard line. So Crosby will have a first and 10 from there. 341 left to get, or 340, I'm sorry, left to get things on the board for the Cougars. And uh, our Nearland defense, or our Nearland players of the game will have a chance to Put a punctuation mark on this award now. Get a good look at that 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 gang right up front and watch them watch them operate. Fakes the inside handoff. He lands up to throw. He's hit. Hand oh intercepted. Colton Kimmler, number nine. He's cutting back to the sideline. Looking for some away, blocks. Kimmler tucked the ball away. And I tell you, I don't, I don't know who Ashton Walter was throwing to, but there was nobody in the thirds. No, he was just he just chunked it. Uh, I think he heard footsteps. Let's see who was coming at him. Well, uh, Curran. Curran was being held. If, if, if we see that again, if we can see it one more time, watch his jersey coming out. Uh, from where the tackle has a hold of they've just finally figured out they, they can't block he in Washington. Here's the here's the run back from uh, Cody Riggs, our field camera. I tell you what, he's having trouble keeping up with the running back. There's an injured bulldog on the field. Uh, Brock Pryor, number 55. Now these guys have been through two a days. Uh, Crosby did a did two a days as well so the guys might be a little bit uh, out of shape as far as their legs go can I watch look look well you did you didn't get enough of it to uh, see here I, I think prior I saw was, it I saw yeah, the holding <laughs> I think prior uh, was cramping up a little bit he's he's certainly been part of that pressure all night long on the quarterback and uh, is deserving of a piece of this the player of the game honor and uh, I, I tell you they, this I, I'm just so impressed with with Nederland's defense all of it the front four the back people they've all done a terrific job and now they just uh, if they can make one first down they can run the clock out Crosby has one timeout I formation gave it to the fullback Marcus Barton <clears throat> Barton gets the first down to the 25 yeah. yard line just a nice quick hitter Yep. Taking advantage of the Crosby defense keying on Hopkins. Right. Yeah, I think Crosby knows the inevitable has arrived now. It's uh, and he was he was past everybody uh, before they knew he had the football. There was a linebacker that stepped up and 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 uh, uh, Barton ran right past him. Linebacker's eyes were on Hopkins the whole way. Yeah. Some of the sub-varsity players there, the Bulldogs there on the sideline, enjoying it. Pro formation now for Needlin. Hopkins on the power sweep. It's about four yards. That he, He's got to be yeah, over 100 now. he's got to be now. over 100 now. A nice, solid game from Hopkins. It's just really across the board. I, I think the Needlin coaches are going to be very happy with what they see. I think they probably would have liked to have gotten a little more out of their offense, but 
Uh, they was pretty conservative in the second half. Didn't throw it a lot. A few drop balls in the first <laughs> yes. half, too, really yes. made a big difference. You know, stopped some drives. Yeah, yeah they, they stopped themselves more than anything in the late in the first half. Hopkins up the middle, trying for the first Hopkins down. The Gets to about the 17-yard line. And this is a good win, and uh, you, you might have a hard time convincing folks here tonight uh, that Crosby is uh, really a good team, but I, I will be very surprised if we don't see them in the playoffs. They're going to get better. They're adjusting to a new coach, but they, they've got some weapons. Uh, they were there last year and uh, could very well see a rematch between these two teams uh, as, as early as by district. The speed of the Walters. At Crosby, definitely impressive. Hopkins again, diving forward, trying to get the first down. He's close to it, depends on where they spot the ball. Referee saying it's a fourth down. He didn't quite get it. Knee must have hit early there. Fourth down and short, 21 to nothing, down to the last minute here. Bulldogs over the Cougars, and they're going to – Chalk up the first victory of the 2012 season. Needland's pick to win the district, according to Texas football. Crosby picked to be in the playoffs from 19-4A. Quick pitch to Hopkins. Trying for the corner. Gets the first down. Gets to the 11-yard line. Clock stops as they yep. move the chains. I think his knee was down inbounds. Well, going to have to run one more play, and then it's going to be over in a really solid season opening victory for the Nederland Bulldogs. Good field shot there from Dale LeBlanc. Great job by all the camera guys. LeBlanc showing you what the referee sees. You can throw your own flag at the at – the, uh, TV if you want to. Now the Bulldogs go into their victory formation. Reigns downs it, starts the clock. Crosby's going to let it run down. That's it for week zero, 21-7, Bulldogs over Crosby. The Port Arthur News Friday night experience will see you next Friday with West Star and Stark coming to visit Port Natchez Groves. For my friend Bob West, I'm Charlie Jellin. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you next week.